Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Oh, my beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading today. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, I would really appreciate it. Uh, Aries, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel in that way. As well as that, Aries, I would really appreciate it if you were to, after receiving this reading today, to give me a comment below which card resonates with you, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Aries. Uh, and then before we finally get into this weekly reading for you, Aries, I just want to remind you to use your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to take offense by it whatsoever. Remember that these cards are here just to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making a choice in your life because it's your life to live, Aries, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, Aries, let's get into your weekly reading. I already pulled some cards as well for you, Aries, just so I could get a general idea of what it is that you guys are currently going through right now. And right now, I'll, sh I'll show you the cards right now. Actually, how many times can I say right now in a sentence, Aries, right? Uh, you guys had Archangel Ragul. Ragul? Ragul? I never had to say their name out loud before. Um, <laughs> the Justice card. Uh, number eight for numerology, so write that down, Aries, to look up later to see how it coordinates with your reading this week. Uh, but this card says, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. And then we have it paired with the Knight of Air. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options and creative solutions. And then for your third card, Aries, we have the Knight of Water for you, which is saying falling in love, the wedding or proposal, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. So Aries, give me a moment to break this down. What I'm really honing in on how I just find this to be interesting is where it's like this justice card. I kind of like to see this as like a um, things coming into balance. Uh, this is the Libra card. And so naturally I like to see it in this way. And so this usually has to deal with, at least I see it in this way, Aries, of like a, if you're going to include like karmic into this conversation, more so, I guess, just like a things coming, bringing, coming back into balance. So whether you feel like you're wronged in the situation, um, Aries, or whether you've been putting a lot of energy into something and you haven't had um, that equal payout from that energy, the amount of energy that you've invested into something. I see it this week starting to come into balance and relatively quickly for you because you have both the Knight of Air and the Knight of Water. Now, water is cups, um, air is swords energy, so Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups as well. So this is where I feel like how this is coming into balance with you. Uh, the Knight of Air is the, the fastest moving knight out of all the cards, and this is usually dealing with like creative um pursuits of some type and with those creative pursuits comes for comes the knight of cups or the knight of water uh uh walking in to give you to give you that payout essentially i almost like to see this as in this situation here it is almost as if where <clears throat> through your traveling as the knight of swords that's how things come into um, balance as the Nine of Cups, having something presented to you. So right off the bat, what I would say this week, Aries, this is a really good week to start putting more energy into your creative projects. This is a really good week for you guys to start um, uh, just pushing through, really. Whatever it is that you guys have been investing energies into, and then you would know this, obviously, right? Aries is something that you're just putting a bunch of like, let's just say like money into something and you're not getting any type of payout back or any type of return back. It's, it's you're going to get something. It's going to be coming back into balance. How many times can I say balance as well, Aries? And you're going to start seeing the signs of um, that coming into balance for you. <laughs> my gosh, I'm in my head now from how many times I said balance. 
So now let's get some clarifiers for this uh, for you. Really, it seems like Aries, what I would say for this is like, especially when Terra, uh, Spirit brings these cards forward in this, such a, in this format, it lets me know that I can't help but feel like some of you Aries are feeling stressed at this time. You're feeling stressed um, about a particular situation. Um, and before I continue speaking, let me look at these cards. Yeah, you're feeling stressed about a situation working out like, and I say situation very closely because I can't really tell if it's about a person or um, about an opportunity, right? I mean, when it comes to general readings, it's encompassing everything, right? Uh, so the clarifiers we have for you is the six of earth. We have the two of water, the six of fire, the three of water. Yeah. And so right off the bat, what I want to point out is the six of earth to prove my point even more um, of what I was saying before, Aries. So this card says, give some money, uh, time or effort, new career opportunities, and receiving or paying off debt. Receiving a loan or paying off debt. Now, Aries, for this, this is my favorite card because, again, like, this is about, like, it's a, the scales right here, honey, so I can keep on saying balance without feeling bad. But uh, this is very, in this card in specific, this is the card of, like, tit for tat. I like to say it is, where it's just, like, what you put in and then what someone else is putting in as well. Or, like, you know, it's just like that back and forth energy. So it's really emphasizing uh, to me, Aries, on how things are just going to be coming back into this balance. Whatever you've been investing into, it's going to be coming back. And now, again, keep in mind, Aries, uh, just because we're speaking in such an optimistic way um, of this, like if you have been not really putting out all too pleasant of energies, you know, be kind of prepared. If you've been in this process of, uh, you know, something I just want to say, right, is like, um, ideally, we'd like to always like, hopefully that karma is on our side. But, you know, uh, Aries, just stay the course, keep it, do your best at maintaining as high vibration as possible. Um, communicate properly, communicate with the um, because I definitely see your intimate situations here, maybe having um, some type of involvement here because you have the two of water and the three of water. Now, this right here is straight up speaking about social. <laughs> I always like lisp with this social situations here with the two and three of cups of, or water um, Aries. This is really letting me know of kind of confirm. It's weird where it's like. I kind of get the sense that this you're getting some type of payout or some type of reward and it's involving more than one person. Does it make sense uh, for you, Aries? I can't, like, it feels it's almost as if some of you guys have been working on some type of group project or you've been working with a collective and thinking back on some of your readings. I don't remember all the readings. I do so many, Aries. But um, I know for a while in some of y'all's readings, Aries, uh, collaborative energies have been a theme for you guys. And so I see like overall success just for you and yours, right? It's almost like a situation where someone just drops like a crate of supplies for you and your party <laughs> almost in the setup. Because the Six of Fire or the Six of Wands in Normal Tarot Aries is the card of just straight up victory. I'll read off the card. Victory, good news is on its way, public recognition or success. And also if you look at this card, it's kind of similar in the theme of like knights. Um, you see the person on the horse, right? Like, it's, I see it. I mean, I maybe it's just me, right? Um, so it's kind of interesting how it's just like a lot of fast forward movement. Um, and I wish it's just nice with that youthful energy. I do kind of get this sense of where it's like a, you're going into new territory, new grounds almost. You're really um, doing stuff that you haven't done before. And so, yeah, I'm just keep on looking at this two, two and three of water here for you, Aries. And so some of you guys, I do feel like it's not a mistake or like a coincidence rather that these two cards came together. I do feel like for some of you guys, the two of water is uh, talking about some type of situation, some type of energy that you've been investing into. Um, for some of my Aries that, well, let's pull some cards actually in specific to this. Um, the Sphere of Water, though, this is what I was talking about, honing in on the message of just like, it feels like some of you Aries, just like a group project, like 
you're not alone in this success. You're not alone in this victory. Um, but yeah, let me get a look now, Aries, at this Two of Water in specific, because I'm curious about that the most. What deck do we want to use? Let me use this one. So yeah, I want to cards already just three cards you all know like my areas who are familiar with my readings i usually just do three clarifiers unless extra come out and just the pair of three just flopped out right in front of me right when i was about to shuffle so uh all right so the clarifiers that we have going on for your two of water aries we have the queen of swords for you we have the seven of cups for you and then we have the world card for you so hmm. it does seem to be like you're making the decision um aries to because with this it feels like you are investing energy into something that kind of felt like a lost cause i get almost or it feels like you're just repeating the same cycles over and over and over again with a situation with a person and so i say the cycles because of this world card it seems like this has just been like a repetitive thing maybe it's just kind of like you know let's say for example um aries there's something that you just haven't really gone along with and every single time that you reconnect or like you guys make out your differences um it seems like just the next time like just the next week something else happens in a different type of detail but it's all based off of like the same thing maybe like the person that you're dealing with is just super you know i mean insert whatever adjective it is right um it seems like no matter what it is that you do or what they even do, it just seems like you're repeating the same cycles with no real change. And so you're left with the choice, Seven of Cups. You're left with the choice, Aries, on how you want to handle this as the Queen of Swords. And so something I just want to get is just a very specific message uh, for you, Aries, especially when it's the Justice card. Um, all this is from being encompassed by. I do... If you've been investing a lot of energy into some type of a uh, situation with a person i am being told to let you know just considering other options here so there's seven of cups here it's like yeah you have to make a decision on how to handle it but maybe that decision is just not involving this person whatsoever and breaking that cycle with this world card maybe this is just the completion of y'all's like situation or something right aries so i just really wanted to see that message for those that have been like holding out um on a specific person and really trying to because i just with that i can't help but see when i see that karma card um uh, just like someone just feeling uh a little bit frustrated with um just the little payoff that they're getting and especially with that six of pentacles emphasizing that message aries so um yeah let's look at the uh blessings that are on your way aries let's see what blessings are coming for you today uh or i guess technically for you this week aries mm -hmm. let's see here Give me one more card all right let's take a look at this so we have the moon card coming in for you, as well as the world card following you. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the only knight that we're missing now, technically, is the Knight of Wands, um, Aries, for you. So a lot of movement. Um, the Knight of Pentacles does confirm to me, as I was saying before, with those other knights, where is alluring to... Um, just doing a lot of new things i feel like you're what it is that you're going to be going through is just stuff that you are not used to at all um especially with this moon card coming in as well um i think this is this is kind of signifying to me aries of um you're going to be get it, catching a break you're gonna, aries is going to be catching a break um it's almost just like some of you guys had just been working so hard it's like uh, I wish I could think of like the example of it. Like, I think it's like a game in specific, but like maybe some of y'all Aries have seen that ad or I know there's like a quote of where it's just like two people like mining, right? And the person that keeps on mining without really looking around and stopping and just keeps on mining forward um, ends up hitting the jackpot compared to the other person who is just mining. And then they ended up just quitting before they hit like the diamonds and walking away. Um, that's kind of this vibe that I'm getting for you guys, Aries, is where it's just like, you guys are in this like 
uh, seesaw game of deciding whether or not you're going to be the one that continues uh, digging or you're going to be the one that chooses to walk away. I see you guys as to be the one that continues to dig, right, as that Knight of Pentacles. You're going to continue trucking along, even if it feels like slow progression, even if it feels uncomfortable for a while. You're going to continue trucking along, and then Moon card and the World card comes in as confirming to me, through you trucking along, you open up something new. What is that new thing? I pulled the clarifier and we have the Ten of Cups. So very much so a lot of fulfillment. Very much so. Interestingly enough, again, as I was saying before, um, Aries, you know how I was saying like it looks like you weren't alone in this celebration of success and what have you. Ten of Cups is really, again, emphasizing where it's like you're not alone in this celebration. You're not alone in enjoying this abundance of some sort, right? Um, so definitely this is a really good week, Aries, for you to just keep on trucking through, keep on putting out that good energy, investing that good energy, right? Because I definitely see um, whatever it is that you put out, it's going. you're going to get that payout relatively soon. So if you have been feeling like Aries, I keep on seeing like a cat hair in my vision. <laughs> I was cuddling my cat right before this reading, and so now I'm just like harassed by my cat's cat hair. So yeah, if you felt like giving up this week, Aries, or like you're starting to like wind down, losing faith, I'm getting if you push through just a little bit longer, Aries, that you're going to be really happy with, you're going to end up mining your diamonds, essentially. So now, what is it that, that my, what is it that my Aries... Is, should look out for for this week. What is it that my beautiful Aries should look out for for this week? Let's see here. All right, so get these cards set up properly. So we have the King of Wands with the Seven of Swords and then the Four of Cups. This is what it is that my Aries should be looking out for this week. Uh, it sounds ominous, right? But this is more so just like um, stuff that you should be working on this week and not fall victim to. And so in this dynamic, this is probably your biggest issue of where it's probably been like the hardest thing for you to overcome, Aries, is probably your own um, inner saboteur, right? King of Wands, Seven of Wands is very much so like hot and cold energy of where it's just like King of Wands, you're feeling super inspired to go forward and super motivated, um, not afraid of anything, just super like you're after the bag essentially, right? <laughs> and then Seven of Swords is the energy of being a little bit all over the place, right? A little bit more disorganized, um, not really uh, having too much faith um, or motivation towards like continuing persevering and then you have this four of cups here where it's like you end up just sitting down and you like look out in the distance and you're like man i wish i could have that but it's never meant to, it's not part it's not meant to be part of my story right it's something that you kind of tell yourself so it's weird to have this dynamic it leads me to believe where it's just like you start with a lot of action aries right you start with a lot of action and then i kind of feel like you get start getting in your head because it's like almost some of you guys you feel like um like, you know, for some of you guys, you've been mining in that mining shaft or whatever you would call it for a long time, right? And so it's just like, maybe you've been working at it for years and you're just like, you don't even see yourself ever getting diamonds truly, but it just is too habitual for you to give up at this point, right? And so it seems like the biggest thing that you guys need to be working on this week, Aries, is to just not let yourself sabotage. Um, the things coming to you. It kind of seems like if you just stay the course, Aries, um, you're going to run into those diamonds. But um, the biggest mistake that you could do right now is to give up at what it is that you're doing, is to uh, take a breather and sit down uh, for a moment rather than keeping on pushing through this week. Because um, especially I see you getting rewarded for that hard work if you were to put in that hard work, Aries. So, um, yeah. I really like these cards for you, Aries. Um, That's the card that I have for you this week. Actually, let's pull a couple of Oracle cards before we close out this reading for you. I just felt, feel drawn to do some Oracle. So you have the Wolverine spirit. You are a lot tougher than you think you are, Aries. So, you know, I feel like this is coincides with the message of for those that feel like giving up, Aries, or just feeling tired. You're a lot tougher than you think you are. 
push through a little bit longer and you're going to be happy. And you got two moon oracle cards that wanted to come forward for you. You have the new moon, a new start is coming. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, makes so much sense. Full moon in Leo, don't let pride get in the way. Can we just talk about how this full moon in Leo and like the example, like the message it brings and like how it correlates with the message I was talking about with that King of Wands, Four of Cups and Seven of Swords energy. I love how connected we are right now. It is, I think it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I hope these messages were a resonance um, in any type of way. If they were, let me know in the comments below which cards were and how they were, Aries. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Aries, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not into tarot at all, Aries, I would appreciate it if you would send them their zodiac sign tarot video, weekly tarot video. Maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Aries, I love you so much.